Go away, I'm trying to film. My mum's in, stood in front of the camera trying to put me off. I'll film you. I'll film you. Did I film you swearing? Yeah. Go get away now, otherwise I'll put it in. All right, what is up? Welcome to the video. I've got something pretty cool to show you today. Now, if you know me personally, or if you've been watching my YouTube videos for a little bit, you would have heard me say that I was looking for a new car. Currently, I've got a two liter Mark V Golf, and it's a GT version, and I've done a lot to that in the past. I did mention in a previous video everything that I've done to it, but I wanted something petrol, and I wanted something rear wheel drive. Now, to start with, I was looking at three series BMWs and like higher spec ones, but to be honest with you, my price range that I had, I couldn't get one to the spec that I wanted, so pretty much I'm just fussy when it comes to that kind of thing. My mindset is if I'm gonna have a sick car, then I want a really sick car, and if I'm not gonna have a sick car, then I want something that's fun and something that is cheap and reliable and that I can modify easily. So I wanted to find something that wasn't too common because you go to car shows and it's just literally golfs and polos everywhere, so I didn't want to be following that bandwagon. Came across this on a Facebook page. Actually, my girlfriend found it for me on a Facebook page and it was actually local to me. It's about 40 minutes from my house, so it wasn't far at all. I went to go and look at it and it turned out it was in like pretty decent condition for its age. So I'm, I'm covering the car up now. You've probably to already told by the title of this video, but there we go. So yeah, the car that I bought is a BMW Z3. This one is a 1.9. I wanted to go for a 2.2, but to be honest with you, I couldn't be asked to wait. And it was a like a little bit more on insurance, so I thought I'll save my money. Car is completely standard. Um, it's only got 75,000 miles on it, and the paintwork is in really, really good condition. It needs a new wing mirror as well, because it's a little bit corroded, and just little general bits like that. I picked the car up for a really, really good price. I couldn't find anything else that was as cheap as this, so I'm happy with that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'll show you around the car. Um, it's got nice and red leather interior. It does need a clean up. It is a fun car. I haven't driven it yet properly, because I've still insured on the Golf until that sells, but I am really excited to drive it. Obviously, it's rear wheel drive, so we can have a bit of fun in that. It's only 140 brake horsepower, but it is quite, you know, it's got a bit of poke to it. It's got more than I expected anyway. I just love these kind of old cars, just the way you sit in them. They've got a retro feel to them compared to anything else. And if you are a car, enthusiast then you'll know what I mean the older cars are always sick to drive they're just really raw and everything like that so yeah so that's the golf out of the way now now we've got enough room to move the Z3 into the middle and give it a nice wash Let's get on with it bud. Huh? Oh, yeah. So here it is, it's a 1998 Z3, and obviously you won't really be able to tell by me just filming it, but the paintwork is really good. You can see on the bonnet, it needs a clean, but there is literally like one or two stone chips. It is not bad at all for the year, well, considering how old it is. Um, so I'll give you a little walk around of the car. I really like the, the shape of these. You can actually make them look really sick. So the back ends, when I was looking online as well, I wasn't a massive fan of how the back ends looked. But when I saw one in person, I actually really liked it. They just look really old school. So that's the back. Need to pick up a new brake light because this one as you can see has got a little bit of moisture has gotten into it but that's that's nothing big at all so I actually bought the car with a hard top on it that came with it and those are like 600 pound to pick up in the same paint color as this so that was handy that it came with that just got the hard top and obviously the soft top I'm gonna keep this on over winter just to protect the soft top a little bit unfortunately this isn't the wide body version if I went for a 2.2 liter that would have been six cylinder and they sound absolutely sick and it also would have been a little bit wider wider on the arches but I'm not complaining this um, it popped up and it was in really good condition so when stuff like that happens you've just got to snap it up when you can and I actually really love the way it looks it just looks so retro and like I've looked at loads of these modified and they've got so much potential to look really cool so I'm excited to start doing stuff to it so I'll show you the interior of the car also I want to color code these silver as well here is the interior, red leather interior. I think this comes standard to be honest with you. Red carpets as well. It does need a little bit of a clean up, but all in all, not too bad at all. Like I said, considering the age, so we'll have a sit in. Oh. Um, some things that I want to change on this. The gear knob is a little bit tatty, so we'll change that. Probably get a new gator for the handbrake as well. Probably buy new mats to go on it. New stereo maybe a new steering wheel and apart from that just clean it up really 
think I've talked about everything. I'm just trying to think if I've missed anything. Oh, the engine. <laughs> so, where is it? It's right up here. So here's the engine. It's completely standard, as I said. Um, massive engine bay. Probably put an induction kit on it. I know it's not really going to give me much power gains, but it will sound nice. What are you shouting me for? Oh my lord, what are you doing? Oh my god. Here's what I was talking about with the wing mirror. So the other one is actually alright, but this one, as you can see, is quite corroded. So I'll either pick up a new one or maybe try and refurbish this one. But when I tell you my future plans, once we've washed the cars, it won't really matter. So what we're going to do now is just give it a complete clean. Uh, I'm not probably not going to like machine polish it or do any paint correction right now. I'll leave that till another day. But we'll clean all the outside, clean all the inside, get it looking nice. It does need a bloody air freshener inside because it smells of old car. So I've had to leave dad to finish cleaning the outside of the car because I've got to go and get this mop chopped because I'm going on holiday on Thursday. So mum is taking me, give me a lift in to go and get my hair cut. But here's the before and here is after. So a lot shorter now, but a lot better. So it's the rain is looking like it's coming in now. So hopefully dad's put the car in the garage so I can clean all the interior. All right, so we're gonna put it in the garage now. Yeah? Yeah. Put it in the garage. Come on, come on. That's it, come on, come on, come on. Straighten up, Fab, other way. Right, that's it. Come on, come back. Whoa. So we've got the car in the garage now, which gives us a little bit of room. The good thing is now, because we've got down light in as well, you can see the paintwork better, can't you? If we get a spotlight, have you got another switch? Yeah. Where? But the, do the, the door's in the way. Well, don't let it just drop. That's better. Look, because we got nice down lighting, well, I wouldn't say nice, because we got down lighting in the garage, it's pretty decent now, because you can see the paint. Paint work is actually, like, there isn't that many swirls in it. Like, you'd probably disagree if you're, like, a detailer or something. Put a spotlight down on it so I can see the paint properly and then start machine polishing it and everything. Oh. I am going to clean the interior and then I'll probably leave it at that for today. Jess has just arrived. You're going to help me clean the interior? Yeah? Do you like you like the car, don't you? Huh? You, why do you keep saying that? I found yeah, it. Yeah, I've already said you found it in the beginning. So now what I'm going to do, I've hoovered all the boot out. I've got some bumper care and I'm going to go over all of the black plastics just to revive them, give them a bit of colour and bring them back to life. So, because it's getting kind of late and dinner's ready, the final thing we are going to do is just use some of this leather care cream. I've hoovered the seats, now we're just going to put this on there. That stinks, doesn't it? There we go, so that's it for now. Just cleaned the leather, cleaned the carpets. Now it's time to go and have some food. I also need to get a new battery for the fob, because this one does not work. There we go. So that's enough for today. Bye Z3. Alright, so that is it for this video. Managed to get a fair bit done. So we've cleaned it, cleared out the garage, and now I'm glad that it's gone in the garage because obviously it's going to protect it um, when the weather starts to get crap. I've got loads and loads of plans for this car, but to start with, I just want to make sure it's all solid. So I'm going to service it soon. Um, then I'm going to start buying stuff. So like I said, it needs a couple of little bits just to clean it up. And then it'll get onto the big bit. So I want to buy coilovers for it. I want to stiffen up the suspension, um, get some engine struts to keep it all tight. And then I will be buying some wheels for it. Try and get it sitting nice. 
once those main things are out of the way then there is literally there's loads of stuff I want to do to it obviously little bits but I'm gonna be planning on making a lot of videos about this car because it is like my project car currently I'm still driving my golf but when that sells I will be insuring this and using it as my daily so yeah I'm really happy overall with the car hopefully it's gonna be really fun to drive I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new because there is going to be lots more car videos as well as i do fitness videos as well so check them out thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video Only.